Welcome, Welcome to, to Sewing Zen, Zen with Gail and Jen. Well, we hope you're all enjoying the pre-holiday, or I guess it is the holiday season now that we're past Thanksgiving. And uh, we were thinking about showing you some quick and easy projects uh, that you can do even sitting watching TV once you're done decorating your tree or doing whatever you're doing at your house for the holidays. And um, this is a really fun project. You can see by the four balls in front of me. I've been having a lot of fun with this. I know, aren't these cute? There's one for Christmas. Here's one for Hanukkah mm. for my husband. Something for everyone. Yeah, something for everyone. So they don't have to strictly be for Christmas. You can make them out of any kind of fabric for any kind of occasion. Um, Jennifer was admiring these uh, little little balls that I've been doing, and um, she wanted to uh, have a ball of my own. Have a ball. Yes, of her I would need a ball. And show her. Own. So I'm here for her to be her personal guide for creating these, and you're going to see how much fun it is. And you know, we all, if we're sewers, we've all got tons of scrap fabric hanging around from projects of Christmases past or, or holidays past um, and the fabrics are too pretty to throw away so you've got little tidbits of things so and the fabrics don't need to be very big look how, how no, tiny they are no. Gail's going to tell us exactly the size but I mean I love when I can find something to use them with and I don't feel like I'm wasting them yeah so. and I actually didn't buy any new fabric which I know the fabric people aren't going to be too happy to hear but all I had to do was go into my stash and just pull out the tidbits of things that I've made from other years This is um, a four inch ball. And um, so the sizes I cut are for that size ball. If you're making something bigger or smaller, you'll have to adjust the size of your pieces. I have been using four different fabrics to work with for each ball. And I did first was I just pulled out fabrics that I like together and I cut them in little three inch squares and just pressed them in half, um, wrong sides together. What I did and what I found is kind of helpful is to kind of scribe the ball so that you can um, see exactly how it's going to be cut into quadrants and then kind of a hemisphere, like a, like a little equator that's going to go around only vertically after you're done. But I do it around horizontally first and then it gets hung up so that it's vertical. Well, we have this wonderful, we have this wonderful horizontal or vertical already. Yes. So what I found is the easiest way to do this is just take an elastic and put it over the center of the ball. This is so clever. Yes, it is. We're marking our quadrants. Yes, yes, All right. super easy. All right, so we're gonna eyeball it? Yeah. All right. Um, I, this is a project and it's it, there's nothing all that exact about it. I mean, if you really Something want like it that. to. Something like that? Yep, that's good. And then um, you might wanna go across just cut it in half the other way too. Well, can we use this one? Uh, yeah, but then but then you'll want to mark it this way too. <gasps> oh, I see. Yeah. So, oh, so we do need two. Yeah. All right. And then you're going to just take something that's um, like even your little seam ripper. And what I do is then I just kind of trace around where the elastic oh, is. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so is that good enough? I think that looks... Fabulous. All right. Excellent. All right, so I'm just going to dash along. Yeah. Kind of like dashing through the snow, Ooh, like dashing through dashing the styrofoam. Dashing through the styrofoam. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is fun. I can yeah. do it. You're doing a very good job. All right. This is kind of like Arts and Crafts 101, isn't it? Yes. Well, yes. it's fun to get to do stuff that's not, you know, fitting sometimes. That's I love nice. fitting, don't get me wrong, but, or sewing. Or sewing machines. This is fun. Well, sometimes we always need Ooh, a little so a break from there. what we do all the time. We won't take points off. Well, maybe a couple of points. Okay. So you're just going around the ball, just kind of um, marking those quadrants. And those are just going to be our little visual guides. I felt like my elastic was over a little, so I moved it. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Let me get out my measuring tape no. to make sure it's no, right, no. On the, right on the nose. So now look you can take off your Look at how lovely that is. See? Oh, look at all those. Yeah. And we're going to use this one too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, excellent. So um, maybe that can be our halfway mark for our equator. Okay. Kind of like the earth. Okay. So let me tell you just some of the little tidbits on this. I think I'll show you this one because it's pretty easy to see. Four 
the first layer on either side, all you need are eight squares because you're going to put four on this side, four on this side. And then for all of the other layers, you're going to need 16 because you're going to use eight for one hemisphere and eight for the other one as you go around. We'll start with this area first. So um, which color do you want to make that one? I, I kind of I kinda like, like this, the one you have. Yeah, some, a, me more too. of a solid. Yep. All right, so we're going to start with this color. I'll give them all to you so you have them okay. easy. Oh, and you're going to need some pins. And I like to use kind of the old-fashioned straight pins that just have the small heads, um, not the uh, glass head pins or anything like that. Because those are so, going to stay in there. Yes, these are going to be okay. permanent. That's why I when I first saw these, uh, I think I first saw them on Pinterest or something. Pinterest? I, <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, yes. but Pinterest. Oh, 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 <laughs> I, mean, oh I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I okay. tried to make it funny yes. there. All right. Yes. <laughs> Or as my husband calls it, pin interest. But um, yes, these are, yes, aren't they Pinteresting? Yes, interesting. <laughs> anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to start with your your square. You've pressed it in half, wrong sides together, and it doesn't matter which way you go. It's up to you. And then all you do is you are going to fold it into a triangle at that halfway point, mm. and then you're going to put the point right up at one of the <gasps> intersections. Okay, yeah. I can do it. I know, I know you can. All right, so I'm going to make, I'm going to finger press. Yeah, you can finger press. Now, if you, I know a lot of people press the triangles on their iron and everything else. Quite honestly, I'm too lazy. You can't to do, do that on your couch, so no. we're not gonna. <laughs> if I'm you can't looking do for it on your lap. We're not doing. All right, it, where so. do I apply the pin? Okay, so it's gonna go right into that tip, right inside the fold, and you're gonna push it right down. Oh, and you know another good thing Ooh. to do is to really have um, maybe even a thimble because after you've pushed the enough pins then your finger starts to hurt. So it's not a bad idea to have a thimble handy if you if you want to do that. Look okay. how lovely. All right. And then just as um, kind of a holder, I just put a, a pin on either side on those triangles. I don't push it all the way in because those are going to come out, but I just hold oh, them just there. Just for now, basting with pins. Basting with pins. That's oh, right. Excellent. Okay. And so you're going to continue around the other four or the other three quadrants. All right, so you're going to help me. Yeah. Oh, I'll use this Here, as my I'll, stand. I'll, I can I can hold this. I'll be okay. your I'll be like right. your little assistant. This is fun. Yes, it is. All right. So the pin really helps to nail down that point. I yes. noticed. Yes. So like if it looks sloppy now, cause see, look how it looks a little open. See, when I put the pin in there, it really kind of helps make it sharp. Yeah, it anchors it right down. See. Look how much nicer that looks now. Right. And then you can kind of pull those two edges together, and that gives you that nice crisp point. Yes. We like crispy. We do. Okay. Right. And then you can put a couple of more pins. Just to anchor. Close. Okay. Yeah, you want to get nice and close so you don't see the styrofoam through, um, uh -oh. through the... Uh -oh. uh oh. Do we have to take points off for that? Uh -oh. Well, we'll just we'll nudge this one up. We're gonna right have to do here. some nudging here. This yes. is my first time, so yes. all right. Yes, it's kind of a this, learning process. This reminds me of yesterday. I was trying to make a kissing ball at my mother's with the evergreens, and it was a learning process. And then I got a perfect shape, and my whole ball fell apart. So I'm gonna revisit that next year. But this, this is sort of reminiscent of that because I was sticking things in a ball yesterday, and look, I'm sticking things in a ball again today. Yes. And it's well, still not coming I, out perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's kind of a theme going on. All right, here, let me I just see. fix this one because that's making me nuts. Oh, okay. But look, right. you can just take it out like this. Oh, there we go. So can make sure. Now I'm going to get this all pre-folded for Jennifer Excellent. for the last quarter. Well, and after we do that, we can take a break and let them catch up, and we'll do the other one because we we don't want to make you watch us do this whole thing. Um, it might get a little boring. <laughs> Is that the word you're searching for? <laughs> so we'll show you each step, but we're not going to make you watch me do every piece because that might get to be a lot. So, well, let's finish this one up. It's kind of like watching paint dry. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Am I'm, I putting too much pressure? You are. On you? I'm feeling like I'm a little behind. What okay. if I hold it and you stab it? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. 
Wait a minute, let me, let yeah, me just yeah, bring this yeah. up just a smidgey wedge more. Oh. Okay. Okay. And then what I kind of do is, um, once the pins are in, I kind of take those fabric folds and kind of pull them over the heads of the pins so they disappear a little bit. Oh, oh. So that's one that. of those. That's one of those incredibly finessed. Look, okay, so see, see like that. Yeah, so the pin kind of disappears. The pin does disappear. I'm going to futz with that, and we're going to make them disappear, and we're going to come back in a second with two ends finished. Yes. All right, so give us a minute, and if you guys are, you know, playing along with us, you can um, catch up and then start us back up again. So we'll, we'll see you back in a minute. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm super excited because as we were working on the second half, Gail explained to me that if you put the pin not right on the folded edge, but about a sixteenth of an inch away, then it hides really easily when you fold it. So I'm just gonna shove this down like that. And see, so when you fold it now, you can see the pin does not show. So see if once, when it's down that little bit, when you close it, it hides. See, isn't that cool? So that way you don't have to like readjust them. My whole first half, I put the pins too close to the fold and then I had to go back and reposition them. So that was a good tip, Gail. You're welcome. All right. All right, tell us about the next step. Okay, so now you just have to decide um, what you want for your next color. And um, this one has little gold stars on it, but it's pretty much of a solid red, so I don't think I would go no. with that. So you've got your choice of either the gold or the lovely little poinsettia. It's a Ooh, tough decision, I know, but I've got to let you make mm, it. Let's go with... Um... Let's go with gold. Okay, that's what I did. Oh, and I like it. <laughs> Look, I'm copying Gail, but that's okay. You know, that's, that's okay. flattering. I think, isn't yeah, it? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. yes Very absolutely. nice. Absolutely. But there are colors in here I can't choose from, so it will become my own eventually. Yes. All right. But so. I do like the gold next. All right. So what's the next? How do we do okay. the next step? Okay. So the next step is exactly the same process with your um, folding of the fabric. Fold. These points are going to go, the fold is going to go directly over um, the first fold, but then it's also going to go um, right in between. Oh, so that's why we'll need eight. Each one, yes, and that okay. makes eight. So. All right, so we'll start right here. Yep. I, and oh. I usually will do the four um, that are centered on top of the first layer of fabric first, and then I'll put the other four in between it. All right, so I'm creating a stripe now by how far close I decide to put it. Right. All right, so like maybe a quarter of an inch. Yeah. And I've seen some where some people vary the width of it, so they might have a skinny little stripe of color on some and then Ooh. some a little bit lower down. But again, that's that's one of your aesthetic choices that you can See, make. look how nice that is. Watch, ready? Yep. Look how I hid that pin. I'm becoming yeah. a pro. Yeah. And then I can just move this over. Yes, exactly. So then you'll take that oh, pin cool. and move it down. I like it. I think I'm starting to get into the flow now. Yes. All right. And you really do get into it. Like after I made the first one, I was able to zip along really quickly on the next one. I'm starting to feel zippy. All right. So. You know, I, the other thing I try to do is kind of eyeball it just to make sure they're all about the same distance from the one yeah, I'm trying underneath to, it. I am trying to do the eyeball thing. And even if they're not, again, if they're not exact, it's not the end of the world. See, that's what I mean about having something so you don't yeah. have to poke a hole. She in is your... right. If you have a thimble, that would be helpful because yes. it does start to hurt your fingers. Yes. All right. Yay. Look at this, how fun this is. Yeah. Okay. So here's the next one. And we'll get this done. And then we'll show you the ones in between. And then you can really start to see the pattern take shape. It's really pretty. This is okay. kind of origami. Origami, I mean. Yeah. Or orgami. Orgami. I'm going to do some new words up <laughs> yeah. in this episode. We're going to have some new vocabulary. Obviously, your Japanese is a little rusty. Sorry. Right. So Here now this one is going to go oh. right on top of there. Yeah, right on that fold. Exactly right. Ooh. And oh. then it kind of forms that little Ohio oh. star thing going Oops, on. Wait a minute. I shouldn't have taken that out yet. Let me back up. Hold on. I would leave that in until yeah. you're ready. To yeah, I, the see, I see the, my tragedy of my error. Yes. All right. I'm showing you everything not to do. While you're making but that's okay. There, there's no fatal errors in this. You can always fix it. <gasps> we don't even need a seam ripper to fix our boo boos. Oh, no, I know. We love that. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. After I made the first one, I said it was. It it really is sort of one of those very zen type of projects. 
That's why this became our first project because she was calling me and telling me, oop, I made another one, oop, I made another one. And they sounded like they were so much fun, I wanted to make one. So yes. we're sharing with you and I'm making a fun project. Yes. All right. And plus they're really pretty. And so do you want to hold that one in place? And then I'll tell you what I do for the next layer. I, I go opposite. Like for the ones that I laid on top first, those are the ones that I do second for the next layer. So it just gives it a little bit of visual interest. Ooh. Yeah. This is fun. It is. All right. Well, we need the last one. Okay. Here we go. This is bad being a bad boy. Hold on. Just excellent. Oop. Last. Look at, you can really see the star shape. Look at that. Yeah. I think, I'm not a quilter, but I think, through, isn't that an Ohio star I think or something? It, I think it is. Yeah. It's very cool. We didn't have to sew into any corners either. No, no. I love it. This is very cool. Yes, it is. All right. You need another pin to anchor it? I'm gonna or you can move that one down. Know. Yeah, see. That, and that's what I mean. When You really only need to anchor Everybody. the first fabrics, and then you'll just take the same pin and anchor it on top of the one before. Look at that. How nice. I love it. It's coming out beautiful. Yes, it is. Okay. So then now you have to decide which one you want next. Should I do the other side? Oh, you want to do the other side? Yeah, go ahead. We okay. want to do the other side. So we're just going to come back to you as soon as I get this other side done because I want to show okay. my beautiful finished thing. That's right. All right. So, okay. okay. Cut. <laughs> Look at three have, layers done. Look at it. It's starting to look extremely festive. Yes. And even though it's not 100% perfect, I think the overall effect is really, really pretty. Yes. So, yay. Super and it doesn't exciting. have to be absolutely perfect. No one's going to take out their rulers oh, or measure. Oh, this is really nice. Sure, but it looks really pretty. Okay. So now we have to. We don't have to choose because it's just one more. Yes, we're down to it. I, I, I made extras here. I'm not too sure why, but I oh, did. That's all right. That's okay. So we're just going to do the same thing again. So this one's pretty with gold stars on it. I'm just going to do the first few, and then we're going to speed this thing up so we can show you how to finish it off. Yes. So we'll just do a few. All right. So but, it's the exact same process again. Yeah. And, and again, if you wanted to do more layers, you certainly can. You can just scooch them up and make the, the um, stripes a little bit narrower in between the layers. But Gail pointed out to me, and I want to show you, you do have to make sure that by the time you get to your last layer, you have, you know, not more than an inch of space between the edges because we're going to finish it off with a bow or a ribbon. Yeah. So you do want to make sure that you're covering most of the ball or even getting, you know, up to this point. Yeah. Okay, so even if your um, final layers don't meet each other exactly, your ribbon or your a piece of fabric will cover that over. And um, depending on if you have a wider gap, if you need a wider ribbon or you can use a coordinating fabric, just make it wider and that'll hide the whole thing and you don't have to tell anybody. So on the side. Sometimes, sometimes I do, like if, if a fabric has a print on it and I fold it one way and the um, fun part of it is hidden, I flip it the other way just to see if I can Find show off. Fussy folding. Way. Yes, fussy folding. Fussy yes. folding. All right, you can see what we're doing here. Whoops. All right, so we're going to just finish this up, and then we'll be back to show you the fa-la-la-la-la part. Yes, that's right. All right. All right, we're back, and look at how lovely. Super excited. It is very fun. And you can see on the sides, we've almost met the equator. The equator. Yeah. So you want to make sure that that's small enough so that your ribbon's going to fit. So... Um, I think we're going to be good. All right, so let's let Gail take over and show us how to finish this puppy up. Okay, so um, I have some very fun little Merry Christmas ribbon. Look at and the ribbon. Yes, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? But um, if you didn't have a ribbon that really went with your fabrics and things like that, on my first one, I just took a piece of the fabric. It's, it's my little button print fabric. And I used one of those little clover bias tape makers, and I just Very ran cool. it through, 
and covered it with that. So um, you could even coordinate that little cover and that kind of takes the curse off if there's any little gaps. It, as long as your ribbon or your fabric strip is wide enough, it'll be perfectly fine and it gives it that nice finish. So what I would do, Jen, is you can just maybe pin in the first edge just to kind of tack it in place, like baste it in place. And cover up your raw edges. Let me give you a pin. Oh, this one has a red ball on Ooh, the end. It's very, very festive. And then as I go around, I just kind of tack it in just to make sure all the raw edges are covered. And then what I do is I just take some small, well, actually, no, wait, you know, excuse me. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> er, er, yes. You know what I do is I take hand stitches and I stitch the two hemispheres together. Before we do this step? Yes. But it's not, I guess it's not super critical. It's working like this. Yeah. Um, but you could do that. So yeah. basically you could do slip stitches and catch yeah. it. Okay. We're not yeah. going to do that today because, um, you know, we want you to start making your own. <laughs> we want to have it done by Christmas. <laughs> yes, we do. But um, just know that you can just catch these together with just a little slip stitch and you don't have to be fancy with that at all because it's nope. all going to be covered up anyway but it does hold everything in place so let's we can just pin this in oh, lovely go. it's coming yes, it is. should i do it on the side yeah it doesn't matter and you know if you had beads that you wanted to pin you put the pin through um that would even be a fun way to do that and you wouldn't even have to do any slip stitching on the ribbon at all or anything else and um, that would be pretty. Just make sure the hole in the bead is big enough so that the pin will go through it. Do you want to do Keep that? in mind, this is my first try. Yes. So it might not be 100%. It's going to be beautiful. Perfect. But I do think the overall effect of it is going to be very nice. Yes, it is. Well, it's no big deal. I'll give it some final loving up later. Yes. But you can see, it looks very... It looks really nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, um... I was mentioning to Jennifer that some people might want to press the um, triangles right at their ironing board too. And you can do that. Um, but I kind of like the soft folds of not pressing it. But that's entirely a personal choice. But here are some ideas to make it kind of pretty on the top. I just used a thin little ribbon on this one to hold it. And I did a little bow and some of those little be um like little holly berries and I took some artificial greens and just stuck that on and I just caught those on with some hand stitching. This was my very first one. I just did a simple ribbon very and pretty. took a skinny one. You could get some mis mistletoe. Oh. You could get some mistletoe and make a kissy ball. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and then hopefully whoever you like will be standing under it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, I did the same thing. And this one actually had some built-in leaves on it. It must Ooh, have been very some nice. seeds, so I just put those on. And then for the Hanukkah one, I had some pretty polka dot, and I'm, I love polka dots. So, and that and kind of incorporated all the different color blues and white. So um, I did that, and then on my surgery, I did some surgery chain. Okay, let me show them. And yes. Look how lovely. Okay, so we've got the Hanukkah. Yeah. With the ribbon that coordinates. And then we have festive, you know, greens, festive greens and berries. And we have just ribbon or we have berries and leaves. That's very right. nice. Yeah, very pretty. Very so, pretty. Just so look that. how lovely. Yeah, so you can make it as fancy on top as you want and, um, you know, kind of do whatever you like to do. And again, if you had beads or sequins or things like that, and you want to put those at the tips of your triangles, that's another fun variation that you can do with this. But you can just have fun with this technique. And is this our new? Oh, this is our new one. I was going to say, what happened to the top? <laughs> it's okay, so, Gail. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to be all right. All right. Okay, <laughs> so, but um, anyway, so that's our just fun little Christmas um, project for right now and we may have another one for you we're not too sure yet but if we not we'll have something exciting for the new year that's so right either that's way right, right but we hope everybody has really happy holidays and um have a lot of fun and to me 
just doing things like this is the most fun of all the holidays and just getting together with friends and family and people you love. So enjoy. And um, if you make any of these balls, send us some pictures. We'll post that's right. them. That's right. Yes. That would be really You want to see how creative you can be. That's right. Yes. That's right. So anyway, but send mm -hmm. us your pictures. And um, again, just have a lot of fun with it. Don't be too fussy about the whole thing because the, the finished product is really beautiful no matter mm -hmm. how uh, perfectly you finesse the whole thing. So That's right. Just enjoy. All right. H happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> Ta-da. All right. So do we want to start it the, the same way every time and say, um, welcome to Sewing Zen with Gail and Jen? Yes. And today it's no sewing except for a couple of hand stitches, a few hand stitches. Okay. Okay. Let's sew. All right. So we'll say one, two, two three. Welcome, Welcome to, to Sewing Zen, Zen with, with Gail, Gail and Jen. Jen. <laughs> it's always so, well, so surprising. That was a good start. <laughs> surprising when we finish saying that. We have nothing yes, else to say. <laughs> no. Well, today, um, since it's just a couple Let's do of that again. Oh, that, okay. that was a little All bit right. too much. Okay. Cut. All right. Cut. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Make sure my straightened out here. Really fun to we see. We want to see your balls. Yes. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I think I, you know what it. I. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, we can edit that out. Don't worry. All right. Well, come all right. We'll 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 yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We you know what we're supposed to do? Um. <laughs> we should. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. <gasps> oh, the end. Okay. Right. You guys are ready. <laughs> balls. <laughs> oh my we wanna, God. We want to see your balls. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my